Cut one run of Z-Mesh leaving the cut straight and flat. The splice plate is placed on top of the Z-Mesh with one inch of Z-Mesh overlap. This overlap is folded up into the fold of the copper splice plate. The other piece of Z-Mesh is then brought over the top of the splice plate. Mark the length of this piece of Z-Mesh. Cut and tuck it into the fold of the splice plate on top of the other length of Z-Mesh. The splice plate is then flattened down on top of both pieces of Z-Mesh using a short length of 2x4 or a hammer.